Hi everyone, welcome back to Fat Cat Maths. This week we're going to be talking about ratios. A ratio is simply a way to compare two or more numbers. For example, here we've got three yellow sweets and two purple sweets. The ratio would be three to two. In this example, we have two boys to one girl, so our ratio is two to one. What's important to note though is that ratios should be written in the simplest way possible. We can't simplify these two numbers, but what if we had a situation where we had larger numbers? Here we've got four boys and two girls. We can simplify these numbers by dividing them both by the same thing. We can change the numbers however we like, but whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. Both of these numbers can be divided by two. So if I divide four by two, I'll get two, and two divided by two gives me one. So even though I have four boys and two girls in front of me, the actual ratio will be two to one. Here I've got six mint ice creams and three chocolate ice creams. I can divide both of these things by three, so the ratio of what's in front of me is two to one. If you can't divide both numbers by the same thing, then it can't be simplified. Here, this number can't be simplified any further, and so that's the ratio of what we can see in front of us. Pause the video and see if you can try and simplify the following ratios. In the first question, we can divide both of these numbers by 6, so the simplified ratio would be 1 to 3. In the middle, we have three numbers, but we treat it exactly the same. They're all in the 3 times table, so the simplified ratio would be 3 to 5 to 2. In the last question, I can divide both these numbers by 5, so my ratio will be 1 to 4. Let's look at the two most common types of ratio questions. The first one will be dividing amounts into a ratio. An example might be this. Dinesh, Ryan and Polly are given a bag of 30 sweets as a prize. They need to divide the sweets between them in the ratio 6 to 1 to 3. How many sweets does Polly get? The second most common type of question is scaling a ratio. In this example, we have been told that a milkshake needs strawberries and ice cream in the ratio 2 to 3. Then we're told that if they wanted to use 20 grams of strawberries, how much ice cream did they need to use? We'll go through this type of question in a minute, but let's start with the first. Whenever we're given a question like this, the first thing that we always have to do is add up all of the numbers from our ratio. We've been given a six to one to three, so I add those numbers up to make 10. Next, we divide the total of whatever we're sharing out by the number you got from step one. We're sharing out 30 sweets, so I'm gonna do 30 divided by 10. This gives me three, which is equivalent to one part of our ratio. Next, you want to multiply this number by whichever ratio you were trying to calculate. We've been asked to find out how many sweets Polly gets. She is the third name in the list of people. So that means that she will be the third ratio. So to find out how many sweets Polly gets, I'm gonna times the three from step two by the three, which is her ratio. And that tells me that she will have nine sweets. In this example, we're being asked to share a hundred pounds between two brothers, Angus and Tony, in the ratio four to six. Just as before, we need to start by adding up the numbers from our ratio, which are 4 and 6. Next, we need to divide the total of whatever we're sharing out, which is £100, by the number you got from step 1, which is 10. 100 divided by 10 will give me 10. Lastly, we need to multiply this number by whichever ratio we're trying to calculate. We're being asked to find out how much Angus will receive. He's the first name, which means that he will be the first ratio. So if I do 10 times 4, I'll get 40, and that's how much he will receive. Pause the video here without the rules in front of you and see if you can figure out the answer to this question. We've got a bit of a spin on the classic type of question here, but we start off exactly the same. You add up the numbers from your ratio, which gives us 5. Then we divide 20 by 5 to give us 4. 
And then one way to work out how much more Lauren would receive in comparison to Olivia is to find out how much each of them get and then find the difference. If we times four by Lauren's ratio, which is three, we'll get 12 pounds. And if we times four by Olivia's ratio, which is two, we'll get eight pounds. That means that if we look at the difference, Lauren will get four pounds more than Olivia. Great, so we've looked at dividing an amount into a ratio. Let's look at how we scale a ratio. Just a recap of this question. We have been given a milkshake that needs strawberries and ice cream in the ratio two to three. If I want to use 20 grams of strawberries, how much ice cream do I need to use? The key to working out any type of question like this is to set out what information you've been given in a table. I'm going to start by writing out the names of my two columns, strawberries and ice cream. Then I'm going to write down their ratio underneath. Strawberries are two, ice cream is three. Next, I'm going to write down any information that we have been given. We are told that there are 20 grams of strawberries, so I'm going to write this in the strawberries column. For now, I'm going to put a question mark in the ice cream column because we don't know what this is yet and we're trying to find it out. When everything's laid out, all you have to do is look at the column that has all of the information in it. In this case, we've got all of the information for our strawberries column. What you need to do is find out how you get from the ratio to the amount. In this case, we're looking to see how we get from the number 2 to the number 20, and we can do that by timesing it by 10. The reason that we want to figure this out is because we can do the exact same thing on the other side to find out how to get from that ratio to the amount. So if I times 3 by 10, I get 30, and that's the answer to my question. For 20 grams of strawberries, I will need 30 grams of ice cream. This question has three things, but again, we work it out in exactly the same way. So pause the video and see if you can find out the answer. For this one, we do the exact same thing by starting with the names of our columns. We've got oranges, apples, and pineapples. Then underneath, I write their ratios. 10 for oranges, four for apples, and one for pineapples. Then we add any information that we've been given. We've been told that there are three pineapples, so I can write that underneath. We are looking for the number of apples, so I'm going to put a question mark in this column. With oranges, we have not been told about them and we haven't been asked to find them, so for now, we don't really care about that column. Great, so now that everything is set out, we look at the column that has all of the information in it. For this example, it's pineapples. And we look to see how we get from the ratio to the amount. To go from a one to a three, we times by three. And that means that if we do the same thing to the number in the apples column, we can find out how much there will be. So when there are three pineapples, there will be 12 apples. Great, so in summary, a ratio is just a way to compare two or more numbers. They need to be written in the simplest form. So here we have three rugby balls and six footballs. But because both of these numbers can be divided by 3, the ratio of what's in front of us would be 1 to 2. The two most common types of questions are, firstly, dividing an amount of something into a ratio. And in this situation, you add up the numbers from your ratio and divide the amount by this number. The second most common type of question is scaling a ratio. For this type of question, you need to set out all of your information in a table. Then, looking at whichever column has all of the information in it, you look to see how you go from the ratio to the number. However you do that on one side, you can do the same thing to the other side. Cool, so that is the end of the video. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you next week. Bye!